Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazelton and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload a book to Amazon KDP. So this video is going to be relatively short. I'm just going to show you how to upload a book. I'm not actually going to publish the one I show you because I just want to use it as an example. I encourage you to create your own designs and own interiors and definitely made products that you feel other people need or and or want and that will sell. So let's get started. So first, just want to make sure you log into your Amazon KDP, obviously, and you're going to want to go to your bookshelf, which I'm already on there, but I'll click on it again, just so that you guys can see the page refresh, and this is where we're going to go. So if you're looking to upload a paperback, then you're just going to hit this paperback button on the side. You definitely have to do a different format for hardcover versus ebook, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to upload a simple paperback notebook. So you just hit the add paperback button and this new page will pop up. And it's pretty self-explanatory once you do it, but I know it can be a bit confusing at first. I had to watch a few video tutorials myself. So for a book title, I'm just going to say blue notebook because the notebook that I have um, is blue. Actually, I'm going to say composition notebook instead because you want to make sure that whatever you have in the book title is also written on your book cover. And my book cover only says composition notebook and then some details about it, but does not say the word blue. And I want to be very careful so that Amazon doesn't flag my account. But for a subtitle, you can add a bit more. So I can say like blue cover, 200 pages, um, great for back to school or something like that. Uh, you, you can make your subtitle up to a certain number of characters. I don't recommend making them too long because as of right now, research shows that if the titles are too long, people tend to shy away from them. So I would do a good amount, but not not so much where you get those little dots on Amazon because your title is so long. So after that, you would just move down here. If this is a series, you want to add it to the series, but this is just a plain notebook, not in a series. Um, no edition number that I'm going to add. For a contributor, you can either create your own pen name or you can just put in your real name. That is totally up to you. I tend uh, to use my real name right now. I'm debating working on some pen names, but for right now, this is what I'm going to put in. If anybody else worked on the book with you, you would then add contributors right here. For a description, you wanna make sure you describe the book in a way that you want it to sell to. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so for this, you want to make it very personal to your audience. So you could write anything like looking for an amazing notebook for back to school. <clears throat> well, this is it. Or you don't have to write any of that at all. If you just want to be super straightforward, you can just do notebook features, put it in bold, um, add a little bulletproof list, or something like that, not bulletproof, sorry, bullet, bulleted list. You could do like 200 pages, wide ruled, um, blue cover. You can just keep going down the list and you wouldn't want to bold everything. So I'm just gonna unbold those. So the description, you can really personalize it to whoever you feel is best. Everyone has a different method with that, but this is where you would put in your description. For publishing rights, uh, you just select if it's your own work, which it, it usually is. I own the copyright and own necessary publishing rights. For keywords, I do have a keyword video on this, so please go check that out if you're not entirely sure how to enter keywords. But one of the methods that I show in the video is going to Amazon and you would type in your notebook, so like blue composition notebook, and you'd look and see how many search results there are. And I go into way more detail in my book, not in my book, I apologize, in my YouTube video. So definitely go and check that out. But for now, I'm just going to fill in a couple of them. You're going to want to make sure all of these keyword boxes are filled in because this is how people are going to find your book. It goes off of your title, subtitle, author name, and these keywords. So you want to make sure that you're picking words that are actually related to your book. I wouldn't want to put in um, like dinosaur or pumpkin because my book has nothing to do with those things. 
but you definitely want to use this to your advantage because the more keywords you have, then the more likely it can show up in various searches. And then to browse categories, you can search through these yourself, or I like to use a handy tool called BookBolt, which I will put into the description below. And you can research certain words, and it'll give you some of the most popular categories to put it in. For the sake of this video, I'm just showing you how to upload a book, so I'm just going to pick one. Um, I recommend doing two categories, but again, I'm just showing you what to do in case you're not sure how to do this, how to upload a book. So I'm just going to select one for now. For this last part, does it contain language, situations, or images inappropriate with children under 18 years of age? I think that's pretty self-explanatory. This is a notebook, so no. There are some notebooks that have vulgar language or things like that, then you would definitely want to hit yes. For ISBN, if you have your own, you would click here and input your own. I do not, so I'm going to do a free KDP ISBN. Now, if you do a free one, this means that Amazon KDP is the only ones that can publish using this ISBN. So if you went to a different publisher or something like that, then you would have to use your own or get a different one. Um, they do explain it here, and they have plenty of other resources. For publication date, I normally don't select one, but if you want this to publish on a specific date, then by all means just click on it and pick the date you'd like it to go live. Keep in mind that Amazon can take anywhere from a few hours to a week and sometimes even more to approve books once you submit them for review. So if you want a certain publication date, I would definitely make it further out and make sure the book is done because if it doesn't pass review, then you have to go back and edit it and it can really mess up your timeline. For print options, you would select whichever print is the best for your book. So for a notebook, black and white interior with white paper is normally the best. For the trim size on the book I am going to be showing you is 7.5 and 9.25. This is the common size for composition notebooks. I'm also going to want bleed, which I plan to do a video on bleed versus no bleed. Um, but long story short, bleed means that it will print beyond the margins and no bleed means that it will not. And since this is a notebook, I want it to go all the way through on both sides. So I'm going to select bleed. For a paperback cover finish, I normally do a mate. I haven't done glossy yet, but that is totally personal preference and whichever you feel is best. Glossy is shinier than mate. So for a manuscript, you're just going to want to upload them. I have a folder of Amazon KDP interior templates. Just to make my life a little bit easier, especially when you're uploading a bunch of books, it's a lot better to be organized. So for book cover, you can either create your own using their own program right here, Launch Cover Creator, or you can upload one you already have done, which I like to make my book covers in Canva. So I'm going to upload a book cover that I created for this. And I also will have this template posted below in case you're struggling to make your own or just looking to have one already done for you, feel free to use that. And now it'll take a little bit of time to process. And then you're going to want to hit launch previewer. Sometimes this can take a couple minutes other times it can be relatively quick, but this is where you're going to look at your book, make sure that your title looks good, your name looks good, all the pages are in order. Um, sometimes the margins will be off and Amazon will flag it and you'll have to go back and edit it and then resubmit. You can flip through every single page and make sure that everything's all right. I definitely recommend keeping an active file of the files that you submitted. Sometimes I'll make a cover and then I'll want to create another one and I'll go over it, but then if the cover I just created had an issue, um, I can't easily go back and fix it. So this is what it looks like when it pops up on your screen. On the left-hand side, they'll have quality check and they'll tell you if there are any errors with your book. So thankfully, there are no errors that they found and you just want to double check all of your information, make sure that it looks good, verify the pages. For notebooks, I don't go all the way through just because I've already used this template multiple times, so I know that it's going to be the same. I'll just make sure the bleed looks good and it looks the same and cover looks all right. And then I'm going to hit approve. And once you hit approve, 
then it's going to give you an option to move on to the pricing page. So I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom here, save and continue, next step, pricing. And this is where you're going to actually price your book. And what I really love that Amazon KDP does is that it gives you your royalty amounts when you put in a price. So for the minimum price, my royalty would be $0. So I'd be giving books away for free. So I don't want to do that. So let's try like $6.99. And you just want to play around with the pricing, see what works best for you. It's different for everybody and for what you're selling between notebooks, journals, high content, low content, activity books, things like that. And print costs are always going to be different. So definitely do what you feel is best. See, it was $0.94, cents, so $7.99 is $1.54. You want to make sure in every single country that you will be making a profit. So I'm just going to adjust this one a bit. So that way there is a profit. And for expanded distribution, that is totally up to you. That means that other places can print your book and sell it. Um, it does a little explanation here. Right now it would be zero at this price. So in order for me to get any royalty from expanded, I'd have to go up to $8.99. And let's see, $8 in the UK, I think we'll do it, yep. So that is totally up to you if you want to do that. You would just hit this little check mark button. And then once you're happy with the pricing and your book is all good, you would just hit publish your paperback book. And a little screen would pop up and would say it was under review. I'm not going to hit it since this is just an example of how to fill everything in and upload your book. I really hope this was helpful. I know in the beginning all of these forms were really confusing to me, so it was really nice to have a walkthrough. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the links that I posted in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.